All right, so um, another thing is um, the issue of Brian. I feel like he's probably at school right now. Um, we could try inviting him over. So if Brian is the baby daddy. Um, it's her first ever boyfriend. They don't have the closest relationship. Um, I mean, they do okay, but they really didn't get to know each other very much before they conceived this baby, um, which is, I guess, the, the trouble with teen pregnancy. But we're going to have him come over. Uh, hopefully he'll actually show up. He may be at school, but these two need to have a conversation about what's going to happen for their future because... I mean, Rebecca plans on moving. I think she would love to have Brian come with her and raise this baby. Um, let's have a deep conversation. And so, I mean, Brian, he's not, he doesn't look like he would be this. I mean, this to me is just so hilariously 80s. Like, they both just look the part. And Brian, I love his vibe and his aesthetic. Like, he's got the mohawk and the piercings. And he looks like the last guy on planet Earth that you'd want your, your child to have a baby with. But I think he's a good guy. I don't really know exactly what his traits are. I know he's active. Um, we could find out what his other trait is, hopefully. Let's try that. Let's try to get to know. Um, but I do have a bit of a plan for this couple, actually, because... I don't know. I see more in in Brian. He's not just a mohawk. He's not just a guy with a mohawk. Um, so he's hot-headed. Okay, well, that's all right. Everyone's got flaws. Um, let's maybe... I don't know. I Like, don't send him home. I do want them to chat a little bit more. Like I said, these two haven't had the chance to really get to know each other. So we're going to do a deep conversation. Rebecca's trying to see what his plans are. And the thing with Brian is that he is unlike Rebecca in that his grades are really good and he uh, is really into his education and bettering himself and Brian has been accepted into the University of Brightchester. And as a teen, I mean, that's a really big deal. He wants to go off to university and get an education and do better and be better. And I think Rebecca would really encourage him to do that and tell him that he needs to go and she can wait for him and he can still come visit the baby, but he needs to go to university and do that for himself. Um, so I think Rebecca would definitely support him in that, even though it might seem like he's abandoning her. That's not at all what's happening. Um, he's going to come back and provide for them. So that's the plan. So that's kind of what they're talking about now. Brian is... Leaving. Literally walking away. Okay, let's go to the washroom. Um, so yeah, that is going to be their plan. Rebecca offered to have Brian move with her, but he is going to university. She fully supports him in that, and he's still going to come visit. He's going to be around, but he has to go off and do this so that he can come back, get a good job, and provide for his family. So again, another part of teen pregnancy is that usually you're on your own. So Rebecca doesn't even have a parent to help her. She is completely by herself with this. Uh, but the plan is for Heather to move with Rebecca to the new house. Because um, she's still a teen, so she still needs um, a guardian. So I think that things are going to work out. It's going to be Heather, Rebecca, and the baby for a little while. And I think that that is going to be just fine. Um, so where did Heather go? She's playing guitar. Okay, come grab some food. We're going to be moving very shortly. I think the baby is due in this, well, in this episode for sure. But I meant like during, oh, where are we here? Give birth in question mark. So hopefully before the day is out. Oh, she's coming over to chat with him. Could we um, maybe kiss? We're not hooking up in bed. That was a mistake. <laughs> Honestly, that was not the move. Um, whisper seductively. And embrace, maybe? Because I still think these two make a really nice couple. I, I just like their whole vibe. I'm really into it. Um, but, I mean, like I said, Brian, he, he's he's going to go off and do his own thing. And it's, it's going to be fine. Um, it's going to be tell a joke about monkeys. I mean, while we're waiting for this baby to come, like literally waiting, we could just get to know him a little bit more. I believe that taking a photo with someone actually increases their relationship as well. So we could try that. Her mood has been really bad. Like her bladder and her energy is just not good. I think she needs to go to bed. 
Because I do believe this baby is coming very soon. Oh, what did he say? I need to what? Get some things done. It was nice seeing you. Okay, so Brian's off. I mean, we probably won't see him again for a while. He's heading to university. Um, Rebecca's moving, so it may be a while before we see him. Watermelon scent perfume from spraying herself. Heather is wearing perfume. I didn't know that was a thing. Fix makeup, put on perfume. Okay, so that's all the stuff that came with Slice of Life, um, which I'm still kind of exploring a little bit. The new update, um, well, the newest update has quite a bit in it, so... All right, let's go take a nap for a bit, this poor girl. I mean, she's due to have this baby any minute. Oh wow, she's got a lot of emotions. My body, it's terrible. So she's feeling self-conscious about her body, which makes sense. She's 18 and pregnant, so that would probably be tough on her. We should also come and get some food. Yeah, you know what, come and grab some food. And what's she doing? Oh, right. So Heather is erratic, so she does some weird things now and then. I mean, we're going to work with it. It's going to be fine. But she does do some things that does not make sense, like talking to herself. Okay, we're having some cake. And then can we go back to bed, maybe? What's her relationship with Heather like? It's pretty good. I think I can get those two to be a little bit closer, though. Um, and then Heather can also help with the baby. So I think this is going to work out. I think it's going to be... They're going to be a good... Uh, a good family unit because Heather is a teen so I mean she will be in high school but still old enough to help take care of the baby so it should be fine I'm also excited to see what she looks like I mean to get into Cass and see what she looks like because she does need her sort of 80s style makeover as well all right um are you asleep you should be Donna wants to come over no I think Rebecca's good, honestly. Mm -hmm. Man, this baby is taking its sweet time. It's taking so long. Um, you guys don't know the gender, but I do because I could not help myself. And I had to get a name ready. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at with that. Christopher, oh, he's back from work. You know what? Just go sleep in, in Heather's bedroom. At this point, it doesn't even matter. It's just a free-for-all. Have some more food. I feel like all Rebecca does is pee, eat, and sleep. That is it. She does nothing else because her body is just like falling apart. And I guess it doesn't help at all that eat is cake. Here, let's get Heather to make some actual food. Make some food for your pregnant sister. She needs it. Make some mac and cheese. Please don't burn the house down. So while we wait for this mac and cheese, I mean, we're going to eat the cake too. Let's not kid ourselves. Um... Let's eat the slice of cake while we wait for the mac and cheese. That sounds delicious. And how are you doing? We've got the cat to help us. That's good. So, I mean, obviously we're going to get a dog because Heather is a dog lover. So once we move, we will adopt a dog. Oh, yeah, that's what I asked you not to do. Remember? All right. Calm down. Extinguish yourself. This is ridiculous. Oh, I don't call the fire department. Oh. Well, I was hoping she wouldn't do that, but I guess she just could not help herself. You know what? Just go to bed. Everyone just go to bed. I'm done. I, I barely even reacted to that fire because I pretty much saw it coming. All right, you go to sleep. I don't even know where Christopher is. Oh, he didn't even go inside the house? Okay, well, hold on. Just go in your bed. I honestly thought the baby would be here by now. I mean, we could move and then have the baby. It's not that big of a deal, but I was hoping the baby would be born in this house and then we could work things out. Yeah, I guess we're waiting till tomorrow. Uh, definitely not happening today, uh, which is fine. Oh, there we go. In the middle of the night, she's gone into labor. So I, oh my God. Look how big she is. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean that in the least offensive way, but I do want to see her in another outfit because this is, this is impressive. She's impressively large. Oh yeah, she's definitely pregnant. Um, so, well, like we didn't know that before. It's not twins, by the way, um, which is, which could be what you're thinking right now. 
let's go and have this baby over here. I put the bassinet in the living room um, just because there was literally nowhere else to put it. So let's come and have this baby, this poor girl. She's been through a lot. Also, I just love her look. I can't get over it. It's so delightfully 80s. <laughs> she looks great. And the cat is here to help. That's great. Thank you. We could really use that assistance. All right, so it's a girl. I do want to give her Brian's last name. I feel like Rebecca has faith that he's going to be around as a father and he's going to provide for them. So she's going to give uh, the baby the last name, Doubler. And her first name, I googled the most popular names in the year 1980 because I feel like we're not quite into the 80s, just getting into them now. So... Uh, there were a lot on there, but the one I really liked was Michelle. So we're going to name her Michelle Doubler. There we go. So we've got a baby girl. Um, we have to go to the washroom immediately, though, and then we'll come back and take care of her. Um, we'll feed and rock and cuddle. So this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for her. Um... I mean, she is single and young, and it's going to be a little bit tough, but is the cat in the way? I don't know what's going on. Why can't we get to this child? There we go. All right, so then we'll rock her, and then I think we could probably age up, honestly, into a young adult. Um, I guess we'll have to make a cake because we did eat the last one, so... We're gonna make a white cake and I think Michelle should be fine. Um, so yeah, Michelle Doubler. I think that's a good name. I'm gonna wake up Heather so she can actually change the baby because we apparently did not do that. Oh my God, her knees are so bad. You know what? We're gonna be moving soon anyway. Like we're gonna be leaving this house very soon. So I'm just gonna cheat their needs that way. Um, we can just get this cake made and move out. There's nothing we need, I don't think. Who's this dead person? Osvaldo Turner. I guess, you know what, we'll pack him up. <laughs> he can come with us. Uh, also, is the keyboard around? No, someone already stole that from us. Um, we'll bring the guitar. I don't think there's much else to bring. Hold on, where's this cake? Oh, it's on the... Okay, there we go. Uh, let's add candles, and then we can get her to blow the candles out. And then we're good to go. Uh, blow out candles. There we go. Crazy to think she just had a baby and she's aging into a young adult. All right, her final trait. So she is cheerful, music lover, and we're going to randomize the third one. Clumsy. All right. You know what? I can live with that. I think that suits her, actually. All right. So we are going to say goodbye to this household now. Um... I'm going to get Christopher to come upstairs. He's feeling stressed, but I really want these two to say goodbye. Uh, I mean, it's not the last time they're going to see each other, obviously. They will still be around. We will make sure that he's there for holidays and he comes and visits, but um, I just think Evergreen Harbor is a good place for him to go, and these two just need to go their separate ways now. They've been through a lot together, though. A lot, these siblings. So... Yeah, that is it for this, uh, our, our 70s house. I have loved it so much. It's been a slice, but we are moving on into our 80s house. Okay, so here we are, our fresh start in Newcrest. Um, we have moved into the 80s house that I built. There is a speed build on my channel for this house, by the way. Um, I just really wanted to build an 80s house. So this is it. Um, the interior is delightfully 80s. I... I'm just so happy with it. I think it's going to be a great home for us to live in. Um, so on the, the main floor here, this is going to be Heather's bedroom. There's a little office area with a keyboard uh, for Rebecca if she does want to play keyboards. Not professionally, but maybe in her spare time. Uh, and then there is our living room with the pink couches. Uh, we've got our kitchen as well. Uh, there's like a little sunroom off to the side. And then upstairs... Um, we have baby Michelle's room, so I did like make a, a little nursery here. This isn't the original speed bill I did, the original one. This was a teenage boy's bedroom, but I just kind of um, changed it to suit our needs. So this is the master bedroom here, so that's Rebecca's room. I think it is just perfect for her. Um, and then this is the bathroom. So 
I mean, I think it captures the 80s vibe pretty well, kind of almost like late 80s maybe, but I think it's perfect. It also has a spacious backyard. Um, we've got some like gardening area, swing set, monkey bars, barbecue, place to sit, but I just think it's gonna be a really good place to live. I'm very happy to be living in this household. I Like I said, I loved the last one a lot, but I think this one is gonna be really good for us. Um, and then in the kitchen, there is a washer and dryer as well. So I added that and I think we're gonna be happy here. So I meant to actually give that money. I'm gonna change this to money. Um, I'm gonna give them like a hundred dollars, but that money, that 37 is actually supposed to go towards um, Christopher. So yeah, we're good with what we've got. And I, Rebecca needs to join a career. Um, oh, we have to make some money sure. around here. Um, her jaw or her traits, cheerful music lover and clumsy. So, I mean, you would think that the music career would be right for her, but like I said before, she's staying far away from the music industry. Um, she just, I think she's traumatized by it. Uh, so she's going to do her own thing. And I was thinking maybe somebody said that she should be a teacher. And I think that's a good idea. I think she would be a great teacher. So let's get into the education career. And there we go. She is going to be a teacher. So uh, we won't do the work assignment yet. I don't think her main focus in life would be her career. Um, probably more like her family. So let's go and I mean, what do we really need to do? Everything looks pretty good. There's one thing I really have been wanting to do. Um, ever since I gave her her makeover, I don't think we have this space for it just yet. But I really want her to do a workout on the TV. I think it'd be great because it's that is such an 80s, 80s thing to do. Is it gonna work? I don't want to get my hopes up. <gasps> it is. <laughs> I'm way too excited about that. Okay, guys, we are officially in the 80s. Look at her. Like this is like we've got body break on in the background. That's great. So she's wearing like her leg warmers. Oh, this needs to be a regular part of her life is doing these body sculpting videos. Oh, that's great. I kind of want to turn on some like, um, I don't know. What could we listen to that might represent like 80s pop? Hip hop? I, I don't think it would. Um, change station, maybe S pop? We'll just go with pop. I really don't know what else to do. Yeah, it's not really working, but that's okay. Um, so she's doing her thing. Heather, I'm gonna get Heather to go upstairs and deal with the baby because, I mean, we're obviously very busy. <laughs> I don't know why this is so entertaining. I just think it captures the 80s so well. Like, put on your leg warmers and your bodysuit and sweat in your living room that is perfect all right so she's done her workout good job um next thing i wanted to do was get a dog for heather because i mean she is definitely a dog lover um she just got that trait but i think that a dog would be the perfect addition around here the problem is we can't literally afford a dog that is so sad um let's sell this book there we go now we can afford a dog it's only 200 simoleons so uh, let's change into another outfit and go meet this dog if it ever comes They may have looked at our bank account and been like, um, you can't actually afford one. So we're not bringing you one." Oh, You know what it didn't work. Um, you have to actually pick your dog first man. I'm an idiot. You have to pick the dog you want There we go. Okay, so this is gonna work. Let's see what we've Got. These take a little while to load, but that's okay. We got Mango, a Toy Fox Terrier, Dakota. Um, what do we want? Ooh, a Mastiff. I like Mastiffs. A Golden Doodle, a Cockapoo. I like the Golden Doodle. I mean, I like them all is the problem. I want them all. Um, I think I want the Mastiff, though. I like those dogs. I'm going to get one. My aunt and uncle have one, and she's the nicest dog. Like, the laziest dog I've ever met, but she's really nice. Um, Heather does not have school tomorrow, but I'm still going to get her to do some homework. And, ooh, this guy, Winston, he kind of looks cute. He is cute. Hold on a second. Forget about the puppy. 
I want to adopt him. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never been attracted to a sim. Well, I mean, everyone's been attracted to a sim, but I mean, this guy. Yeah, Dag Dag, all right. Um, let's, let's talk to him. I mean, I know she's got a boyfriend, but that's all right. Get to know him. Talk about the hot temperature. Uh, I mean, we're just getting to know this guy. It's completely innocent. Who's at the door? Go away. I'm busy. Um, this is Clementine. Oh, Stephen McGregor. Awkward. I believe he lives across the street, actually. So yeah, that is pretty weird. But we're just hitting it off with this guy, so leave me alone. Um, what else do we want to do? Discuss interests? I mean, he, this puppy is like, hello. Oh, Brian just called. Uh, would like to come over. You know what? Yeah, he should come and meet his daughter. He did say he was going to be around, so... Alright, fine. All these annoying people can come in. There's so much going on. She's busy flirting with the adoption agent and then Brian shows up. Uh, let's um, embrace Brian and then we'll focus on this poor puppy that is looking for a home. Um, adopt. I would like it if he would go upstairs and acknowledge his child. That'd be great. And he's still a teen, so I need to age him up and I'm going to get him enrolled in university as well. Okay, everyone stop talking. Let's get this puppy. Yes, I want him. Um, I don't want to name him Red, though. Riley, that's a cute name. Rocco? I liked Riley. Let's name him Riley. That works for me. Okay, so we got ourselves a puppy. Now, the unfortunate part is we're going to have, like, no money to buy it stuff. Yeah, I mean, it needs like a food bowl. Let's, um, we have a couple of school projects. We'll just sell those. And that's a really sad way of making money, but it is what it is. Um, there we go. We can afford to buy him some food. Um, I like that she spent some time with the adoption guy. That's pretty funny. Um, uh, and Steven is here eating cake. A little bit weird. I just find it weird that he's here at all because, I mean, that was the guy that almost married their mom and then just didn't um that that is the love of donna's life or so she thought uh let's yeah that works for me and then honestly we can't afford anything else so we can't even afford to fill this thing with food oh this is getting to be kind of sad um do i want i want to keep that guitar because yeah no i do want the guitar we gotta get rid of something i don't know what um, I want to keep a keyboard. Uh, you know what? This, this thing we can sell. $56. That is so sad. We're like scrounging to sell things. Um, I know Heather looks ridiculous right now, but, um, I'm going to give her a makeover pretty soon. Just after this episode, she'll look much better. Um, let's go get to know this puppy. I think she would be really excited about this puppy. Praise. Little Riley, he's so cute. Yeah, trust me, her outfit is annoying me as well. Um, it, just, it is what it is. I wish we could afford a bed for our dog. Maybe I should have waited to get a dog, but honestly, like, <laughs> I don't really think about these things. We have this violin we don't need. I could sell that. Honestly, it's probably 340. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got some money. She's not going to use it. Um, can we also request a song? I just wanted to, like, get to know him. And then what are you doing? What's this here? Unbalanced from eating too many quick meals or desserts. I didn't know that we were, honestly. Um, so where did everyone go? Okay, Brian is out there chatting with this Clementine character. Um, I mean, what else could we really do? Marcello... Um, congrats on the job. I mean, that's nice. I kind of want a garden. <laughs> this is very random. Uh, let's, let's do flowers. And you can buy a face mask as a gardening seed. Okay. Let's get two flowers. This might be a, a way to make a little bit of extra money. 
open the seed packet. I mean, not at first, because I suck at gardening. I'm pretty sure Rebecca cannot garden. Um, let's put these. Um, these aren't really going to be worth a lot, but I still want to plant them. And then we'll open this one. This is a very random scale for her to be getting involved in, but we're just going for it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna do some gardening, um, just as like a little extra hobby. I don't think I'm gonna focus on her career too much. Like I want her to be a teacher, but um, we're, we're certainly not trying to get to the top. All right, who's gonna deal with this child? Oh, the random neighbor, oh, okay. I was hoping Brian would do it, but that's okay. Also, um, a holly failed to germinate. Try putting it in a more open place. Oh, I, okay. Must be in a really weird spot. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's also weird to, to be, like, raising our own children. Rebecca was raised by a nanny, so it's a little different. It's, like, right from when she was a baby, they had a nanny for her, so. It was great seeing you. I have to go now. Okay, bye. Um, let's maybe come make some dinner. We will serve vegetable dumplings and not cause a fire, hopefully. How's Michelle? She's good. She's not, she doesn't like whoever just had to deal with her. Um, whoever provided care for her, she doesn't like. I like how a baby can decide that. Let's turn this off. Um, I really like this house. I think I'm going to enjoy living here. Like, it's just very calm and we've got everything under control and there's no craziness from Donna's lifestyle. Like, that is all in the past. This is going to be, I think this is going to be good for them. Heather, you're up. Um, I realize Rebecca hasn't done much with her own child, but she's been very busy. Ever since we moved in, she's been very busy. Alright, uh, and then Heather can come downstairs and grab some food. Vegetable dumplings, there you go. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. No, wherever you're going, stop it. Hopefully they're, they're going to sit at this table. Apparently with the newest patch, um, they updated it so that Sims will sit down at the table more, which is good because I was noticing that they didn't and it was very annoying. Heather, are you coming? What, what is she doing? Oh, she's coming. All right, that's fine. And then Rebecca, oh, she needs to go to the washroom. Maybe we'll take a bubble bath. I mean, she has a day off tomorrow, so we can pretty much do anything we want. This is a very relaxing life. I like life in the suburbs. I mean, this is why Rebecca wanted to come here. She wanted to live a normal, quiet life. We'll take a bubble bath. Did I do mud bath there? No, I got bubble bath. Good. And then Heather, did I get her to do her homework? I really want her to have good grades because nobody in her family so far has had good grades. Um, also, we should maybe invite over Floyd at some point. He has aged into a child now. Um, he lives with his dad, so we haven't seen him since he moved away. And I still want the siblings all to have relationships. Um, there's four of them, so it'd be nice if they could keep in contact. And what should we get her to do? Can we go um, ask to go potty maybe? I think she should do some training with Riley. I don't really know what he's doing, but. Oh. <laughs> there, and then we'll go, um, let's go watch a movie maybe? I don't know. Channel surf, that works for me. Oh. Okay, why are you all upset? She's. Well, she seems like she is, but she's not. She's feeling playful. She had a good bath. She's happy. Um, we're going to go play with Michelle for a bit, and then I think she can go to bed. Acquired the video gaming skill. What's happening? Why would she acquire the video gaming skill just watching TV? I didn't know that was a thing, but okay. Also, somebody brought gourmet fruitcake, which we are going to put right in the trash. Oh, no, we're not. I don't know. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was going to say, I forgot to put in a trash can, which sounds exactly like me, but I actually did put one in. All right, are you going to bed? The first night in their new house. I think I'm going to really love this house. I mean, I do so far. Uh, I love this story. I love the family. I think it's all going to be good. Um, so I'm going to get Heather to turn off the TV and go to bed. Um, but I want to know what you guys think of the house. Do you think it's 80s enough? Do you think we're going to... 
like living here. And um, I don't know, I like to get your guys' feedback on what's happening because I want to play the story the way you guys want me to. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.